Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So, this is going to be a general energy reading for Wednesday, March 13th, 2019. So, because this is a general reading, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, you can go ahead and check out the description box below, which contains my email address and all of the readings that I offer. Yeah? Um, um, I think that's all I want to say. So, I think... Yeah, let's just get started. And if I think of anything else, I'll say it later. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, well, wait, no. Okay, now I remember. Sorry, guys. Listen, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, Mercury retrograde has really been affecting me. Um, I'm super fatigued lately. Like, I woke up at 5.30 this morning, and I was like, okay, I got to, you know, get going. But I felt really tired. And so I was laying in bed wondering, I was like, am I going to do this reading or not? And like spirit was like, well, if you don't want to do the reading, don't do the reading. It's fine. But I didn't want to just lay in bed because I literally laid in bed for 30 minutes and didn't fall back to sleep. And so at that point, I was like, well, I guess I just might as well get up. There's a lot happening. OK, Mercury in retrograde is happening. There are all these solar flares that are happening that's making us feel very fatigued and all this good stuff. And so... I, please bear with me. I'm, I'm, I'm having to like really think extra about like how, my communication and and all that stuff. And please bear with me. <laughs> so if I'm fumbling over my words or I'm, if I'm if I'm feeling or seeming spaced out, I'm, I'm that's what's going on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but what else I wanted to say? Um, this is not specific to anything. Okay, guys. This is just what spirit wants to discuss with us. You see? This is just what Spirit wants to discuss with us today, okay? Um, I, I guess that's it. I'm just going to get started. <laughs> good, good, good golly. And it's so funny because, well, hold on. I'll get back to that in a second. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Wednesday, March 13th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. <clears throat> um, what I was going to say before, Mercury retrograde really has never affected me like this before. Um, my very dear friend, Betsy, she's, she's absolutely one of my best friends, but she was mentioning yesterday, she did a live stream, and she was mentioning yesterday how, you know, Mercury retrograde makes her a little slower, and I was sitting there watching her video, listening to her talk about that, being like, yeah, that is totally me right now. It's so strange. Like I'm having to think extra about, like a little, a little bit extra about, you know, how I'm communicating, what I'm actually saying. Usually, it just it's it flows right out. But right now, man, I'm just I feel so slow. <laughs> Whoops. It's that's the weirdest thing ever, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna give this one more shuffle, and then. We'll get started. Oh, geez. See, I'm having trouble shuffling the cards today. Good Lord. All right. Here we go. Wednesday, March 13th, 2019. Best messages, please, spirit. Happy hump day, guys. <laughs> it's hump day. Okay. Okay, that's enough. All right. Underneath the deck, we have the High Priestess, all right? So already, the High Priestess is talking about... Um, the High Priestess is talking about what's going on here. You know, she's not really saying much, um, but she's, she's talking about what's going on on a, on a... 
galactic. I was going to say universal, but it's a, a meaning more of a galactic scale. Um, with what's happening with the sun right now, there was there's like this big hole that's opened up that's releasing all these rate all these like waves. Um, that's kind of adding to the ascension. There are people that are posting it specific posting about this specifically. Uh, Alexis Miles, I believe her name is Alexis. It, Alexis Miles, um, and I've shared something of hers before on Instagram. Um, if you want to, if you if you can't find her, um, go to my page and um, look for the three 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 post, but then also something about the like the the sun, and you'll be able to see it. But we have these. Apparently, we have these waves and ooh. Gosh, excuse me, guys. Waves and um, flares that are coming through. At, and in the last post I saw, it's at least until the 15th of February. I'm not February. Good Lord. You see? The 15th of March, which <laughs> which is this Friday. Um, so I'm not sure I'm really going to be doing much of anything this weekend aside from just resting. <laughs> because... I just, I just feel so fatigued right now. But what the high priestess is symbolizing here is that um, it could be you could be receiving some downloads from the universe right now. Um, you could be feeling the effects of these waves of these shifts. Um, she's reassuring us that everything's gonna be okay and we're gonna get through it in time. Okay. But with that, we have the Ace of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. All right. <laughs> I'm la I'm laughing at myself because this is what this is basically what Spirit was saying to me this morning when I was laying in bed. The thing about it is, I I if I had fallen back asleep, it would have been different. I would have been like, okay, it's fine. But I was literally just laying in bed thinking. <laughs> thinking about how tired I am. And um, so what this is saying basically is that we need to care for ourselves right now. Nurture ourselves, mother ourselves, and take it very, very slow. Ace of Cups. Okay. Love yourself. Fill your own cup. Queen of Pentacles. This is the, the nurturing. This is that motherly energy. Um, uh, this is the caregiver. You know, this to me is like you could even say this is like a nurse like energy all right that's kind of what it's feeling like either like a nurse or like your mom when you're sick with the flu as a kid you know taking care of you and whatnot and with the knight of pentacles energy we have a slow and arduous yes a slow and arduous building process we really just need to power through it but not not in the sense of like we're rushing to get through this this process this this period we are powering through it in the sense that we're just we're just keeping just keep going just keep going <laughs> okay because we're gonna get through it everything's gonna be okay we're gonna come out on the other side although i found myself wondering this morning if um you know, if we were ever, if I was ever going to not feel tired again anymore, like if I was ever going to feel rested when I wake up anymore, and that's part of that's part of these shifts, okay? That's part of the the solar thing, the solar influences. Not only are we, um, you know, we're feeling fatigued, but I've had I have definitely been having trouble sleeping. Um, getting to sleep at least at night and I have found that um, guided meditations are really helpful for that <clears throat> um, but uh, I've been dreaming very vividly um, like I had a bunch of crazy dreams last night and, and it's, there's been a lot happening and that's just leaving me, I feel like I'm just, I'm not getting any rest. I'm just going straight from this world back into the spirit world and doing all kinds of different stuff on both ends and not really resting. Um, yeah, it's a vicious cycle. It's a really vicious cycle, but we're, one that we're going to get through. Spirit is reassuring. I mean, that I just heard that loud and clear. One that we're going to get through, okay? 
the high priestess here is just saying, hold on. Hold on for the ride. Because things are changing. Things are shifting. And I wish I had, I wish I had, um, you know, more specific information with, for you guys about how things are shifting. But that's the nature of the high priestess right there. Like, she's literally staring back at me, just kind of smirking. Like, I... Are you serious? <laughs> I'm the high priestess. I don't tell you things unless I absolutely have to. <laughs> or, like, unless it's absolutely necessary. You know, it's that kind of energy that I'm feeling from it right now. But, <laughs> so I get it. No, I totally get it. But, okay. Anyway, let's get some clarification here. Um, yeah, I'm looking at this queen of pentacles. And I, I literally just heard infirmary. Okay. So... It's almost as if the earth, I guess the whole planet right now, is kind of in an infirmary period where we are, um, we're going through, what I'm seeing is we're going through a massive change, right? We're going through this massive shift, this massive change, and um, everybody's just kind of like getting tended to by the spirit world because it's all, it's all hitting us in different ways. But it's still hitting us, for sure. And those of us that have been on the, um, on this, on this path, on this journey, on this, like, awakening journey and whatnot, you know, we're, we're feeling it the most because we're the most, we're, we're more aware. Okay? And actually, I can, I can't tell which would be worse. Experiencing it aware or unaware. Because like unaware, you're just going through the motions and you're feeling all this stuff and you don't know why. But if you are aware, it's like you're conscious of it, but then that just makes it that much more present in your face. You know what I mean? It's weird. <laughs> you guys let me know what you would prefer, but. Okay, one more shuffle. And then I'm going to, because this is a small reading today. So I'm going to, um... I'm just gonna see what comes out and interpret it that way. Just some clarification, please, spirit. What do we need to know right now? Seven of Swords, interesting. Whoop. Okie jokey. Overall energy, we have the Ten of Wands. So specifically, what's happening right now? is we are in the process of releasing the burdens, okay? Um, and that has a lot to do with programming here, is spirit is, is showing me. Um, there is, a, yes, oh my God, yes. Okay, there is a lot of programming. <laughs> That's, I love it when that happens, okay. There's a lot of programming that is being disassembled, I've just heard or deleted, um, removed, taken out of our psyches, taking out, and it's so great. I don't remember. Oh, it was a post by Super Seraphim that I saw yesterday afternoon that was kind of explaining things. Um, I don't know if you follow them, Super Seraphim on uh, Instagram, but it was just basically explaining to explaining you know like this major shift that's happening and how things are really changing drastically um and how the repro and how the programming is being dismantled um and it did mention you know how um basically the cleanup is not going to be overnight it can't be overnight because it's so deep in our deeply entrenched in our society um, and it, it also speaks to the fact that, you know, we can't just do it overnight also because it's going to be too shocking. I mean, there are a lot of people that are about to find, really find out the true nature of the universe, of the entity or collective mass of energy that we consider God or source, you know, it's going to be a real big shock to a lot of people's systems to find out the true nature of all of this. So it's not something that can just happen overnight. So what's going on? 10 of wands, release of the burdens here. 
we have the Star, Justice, and the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords here symbolizing the deception, the lies, the backstabbing, um, all, of the, all of the falseness that we have held to be truth about our society. Okay, this, uh, not just our society, within our society in relation to existence, if that makes sense. So by existence, I mean the universe, um, uh, the fact that we are all multidimensional, eternal beings, um, the, 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 the nature of the universe, how we actually create, the fact that we can create anything, the fact that our, our realities are created within our thoughts and our minds. All that stuff, okay? The fact that we are all one, none of us. I keep seeing 555, you guys. I saw it like four times yesterday. I saw it when I woke up this morning, when I, like, at one point when I got up this morning. I saw it just now. <laughs> it just keeps happening. So there are lots of shifts happening. Um, in relation to that 555 five, five thing, or just seeing fives regularly, I have just resolved to, every time I see it, just fall back and let go of any sort of resistance and just go with it. Let the current take me. All right, so moving forward, we also have the 10 of pentacles, the four of swords, and the knight of pentacles yet again. Um, I'm sorry if I'm all over the place, guys. My mind is just like so scattered. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so 1010, right? 1010 has been a theme for the collective for quite some time now. Um, 1010 is speaking to completions, endings, wrapping things up. Um, but what this is saying here specifically, we are on an extended path, okay, with this Ten of Pentacles here. The Ten of Pentacles can represent time, even though time and space are an illusion, really. But in that sense, it represents time um, uh, sorry guys, it, re it represents time in like the, 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 the process of going through this, the, the, the investment, the, the pro basically the process of going through this change, making this completion, closing out this cycle in our lives, okay? With that said, the Four of Swords is confirming that we need to rest whenever we can, all right? And just meditate and allow this change, allow this shift to take. Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady. There is absolutely no rushing here. Obviously, we have two of them. Two knights, okay? And this is the Epic Tarot deck, and the knight in this deck is symbolized by a griffin. That's what this animal is, all right? Slow and steady. Arduous, yes. Spirit is well aware of how arduous this process is, and I mean, I'm glad we don't have to rush it, but at the same time, I don't want to be so damn fatigued anymore, <laughs> you know? Like, just the thought of dealing with this for an extended period of, and, and, and they're saying, they're, they are saying, it's not going to be like that for that for long. Um, there are going to. It's not going to be the situation where. I mean, we have these 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 flares that are coming through, and then we also have, you know, Mercury, which is in retrograde right now, which is not as bad as everyone says. Um, Betsy, you know, I really I really do like what Betsy's been saying about it lately, um, in the fact that you know there's programming that leads us to fear this Mercury retrograde situation. And you know, you could even say that about like the full moon and all that stuff. That's all fear programming too. But anyway, um, oh shoot. I lost my train of thought. You guys, my mind is like, I feel, my mind feels like jelly right now. 
<laughs> so I'm doing my best here. I really hope I'm, ma I'm making sense, but. Oh, there it is. Um, it's not going to be like this forever. There are going to be some breaks. There are going to be going to be some periods where it's not so heavy, not so intense. But just the, the thought of going through, you know, any more of this at this point is just like, oh, God, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> okay. So there you have it, guys. I hope that would, I hope that made sense. Um, let's get some oracle guidance here. I don't know what, I don't know what to do. Let's go with the animals. The animal spirit guides. The animal spirit deck. And then we can close with the crystal mandala deck. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oracle guidance from the animals. Oh boy. Oh boy. There we go. We've got cheetah and we've got elk. start with elk stable resilient headstrong the father the great elk represents the earth element in its masculine form this means it provides underlying support and stability amidst life's many changes an elk personality whether male or female is fully established in themselves and knows their core values they become known and respected for acting in ways that uphold those values. Sometimes the elk's ego can become inflated, but for the most part, they make damn good fathers, mothers, lovers, and friends. The world needs more elk energy. When in balance, elk is supportive, kind, and consistent. When out of balance, elk is pretentious, high, and mighty. To bring into balance, one must eat and drink more consciously. Um, and I really do feel like this is mostly where the shifts are happening within the masculine side of the situation, within the masculine energies. The feminine side really has been doing a lot of shifting already. And um, uh, so that's either where the shifts are happening or where the shifts are coming from, okay? And that makes perfect sense because the next card we have is cheetah and cheetah represents the sun and the sun is the active is an active part of this change right now okay there are a lot of waves that are coming through the sun and the, the sun's current activity that are helping with the shift that are influencing this shift okay so it's from the masculine energies and within the masculine energies that most of these shifts are happening which is which is what we were talking about yesterday in morning coffee um but also elk is here to remind us that we have the support of the earth the stability the foundation to get through this okay so next we have cheetah do 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 there we go cheetah solar force action Achievement, masculine energy. The cheetah is the epitome of the solar forces at work. The sun doesn't shine onto the cheetah. It shines from inside this great creature and expands outward to brighten the universe. The energy which it, within a cheetah personality is palpable to others and they naturally attract an abundance to bear witness to their remarkable achievements. Purpose and passion are the best fuel for a cheetah's forward momentum. So if you're lacking in those areas, reconnect to the why before you start running. When in balance, cheetah achieves anything and has boundless energy. When out of balance, cheetah is impatient and competitive. To bring into balance, one must reconnect to purpose. Which is absolutely um, resonating with this theme right now of just needing to take a break and rest when we need to, okay? Don't really, don't really force yourself into doing anything that you're just not feeling comfortable doing, ready doing, you know, don't force it, all right? Just let it all flow. 
And if you need to take a break, then take a break. Okay. All right, so we're going to close the reading now with Oracle Guidance, one card from the Crystal Mandala. All righty, here we go. Best message, please, Spirit. Best message, please. There we go. Oof. All right. Goddess Durga and he uh, Hematite. Spear of the Guru Mother. That's intense. <laughs> that is intense. Card number 52. Oops. There you go. We bring you the empowerment of Spear of the Guru Mother. Sometimes there is so much choice that we struggle to commit. It is often not an issue of unwillingness to make an effort, but concern that the choice might not be the quote, right choice. We pray to the universe to be shown what to do according to a wisdom greater than our own. Although our free will is always in place, we are able to accept a task given, uh, divinely given or reject it. The universe answers every prayer. In your heart, you have been asking for guidance to be shown what you need to do in a particular situation or perhaps more generally in your life at this time. You want to be known, you want to, you want to know the best way forward so your actions are in alignment with heaven. In response, you have now become the spear of the Guru Mother. <laughs> This oracle also comes to you with this understanding. If the divine gives you a task, you can handle it. Even if you are going to need to grow, you have it within to complete it successfully. When the universe gives you an opportunity or a life situation to work through, it is giving you a vote of confidence. The divine mother says to you, here is my will. I'll empower you, now go for it. If you want to take her advice, don't hesitate or doubt. Be as focused and forward moving as if you were that if you were the spear that she had thrown with her almighty hand and flawless aim, heading straight towards the center of the target. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> when the oracle of the spear of the guru mother comes to you, who is calling me? <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I'm getting a call from Minsk. M-I-N-S-K at 6.53 in the morning. I, I, I can't even, I'm so sorry guys. <laughs> um, when, the or, when the oracle of the spear of the guru mother comes to you, you are being told your efforts have divine power behind them. The situations in your life, I'm sorry, uh, the situations in your life are willing, you are willing to grapple with are going to resolve far more quickly and potently than you might have believed possible. The power of your own efforts amplified with divine will creates extraordinary movement. Distraction, procrastination, and hesitation shall not touch you. Your focus will be complete and your tasks shall be attained. The trust you feel in yourself and the divine will increase because of this. You will gain more confidence in yourself. You'll become game for bigger and bolder, bolder challenges. The universe will be able to ask more of you and give you more because you shall be increasingly open to it. The risk you take at this time will, with absolute intention, will bring you so much more than resolution of task at hand. All right, guys. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for bearing with me and my, I don't know, uh, I don't know. Just thank you for bearing with me. I hope that made sense. <laughs> um, take it easy on yourselves, guys. It's, there's a lot happening. Lots of shifts, lots with lots of adjustments. We're getting through it, okay? Uh, much, much love to you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all have a great day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee, most likely tomorrow morning, <laughs> okay? Take care. Bye.